Hello! In a previous iPad tutorial, I showed you how to highlight text and define the highlighted text, add notes, or even get uh, more information about the text. But I used the tool that comes with your iPad called iBooks. I hate to give them all the credit, so I wanted to show you that you can do the same thing in other book readers. For example, one of my favorite tools for reading books is the Kindle app. Um, I'm going to navigate to my books folder and just show you that I have the Kindle Cloud Reader app, which is free and works with your Amazon account. If you're an Amazon junkie like I am, you probably have hundreds of books and gadgets that you've purchased there. The Cloud Reader allows you to read your books from um, this app. So what I wanted to show you is how you can do the same thing, highlighting text in uh, a book that we did in iBooks, right in your Kindle Cloud Reader. I'm going to launch that app, the Kindle Cloud Reader, and you can see I have several books in my library. So I'm just going to grab the first book there. And it opens up. And this is called Life, A Journey of Heart. And um, I'll just turn the page by swiping my finger across until I actually get into um, some text that might be worth highlighting or worth looking at. And actually I see something right away. In the introduction section, the second sentence, this is my story, it is not written to offend or demean anyone. And the word demean might be a little bit confusing for people. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to tap on that word and when I say tap, I actually mean press on that word. Just tap it a little bit longer than a quick tap. And notice what happens is automatically the definition comes up. Demean. You can even have it pronounced for you if you click on the speaker. It tells you what parts of speech, gives you a definition, and all of those things. Notice that you can also highlight the word or leave a note. So we have those same features available to us in other book apps, like the Kindle app that we found in iBooks in earlier tutorials. Pretty nice feature, I think. If you're looking to add some educational meaning to your text, um, you can do the same things in your Kindle Cloud Reader that you could in your iBook.